Hello. There it is. Welcome back to my channel. It's been a hot minute since I've recorded any videos, which makes me pretty sad because a big reason that I do this is to document Bobby growing up and she's had like a lot, a lot of changes in the last few weeks that I feel like I'm not catching on camera. In fact, I even had this like I cute idea for doing like a nursery reveal and like a life update, but that is not exactly what's happening right now. <sighs> oh, why? Why is there an air mattress in our nursery? Well, this is going to be like a little bit of a life update because that's what I'm going to explain right now. Um, I'm going to try and make a really long story short because I do eventually plan on really kind of talking about what's been going on like in more detail. I just I feel like I needed to do some kind of update because <sighs> man I just like all of a sudden started feeling really guilty about not like documenting or growing up but I mean it, it is what it is that's why I just keep telling myself that because that's all I can really say okay so long story short Bobby got some weird spots on her legs. This has been like a month ago now. <sighs> I wasn't super concerned because it was only just a couple. They were like these little pinpoint things that were kind of purplish colored. Um, I thought, I don't know, maybe they're freckles or whatever. And she got more. I called the pediatrician. They recommended we go to the ER. I was like, are you sure? She has literally no other symptoms. And they were like, her age, go to the ER. So we did. We followed our pediatrician's recommendation and they were looking and they did some tests i mean they had to like draw blood and it was just a terrible experience i mean the hospital was great the staff was great but whatever when your baby is getting an iv place it's a terrible experience so they were like we're really sorry they want to admit you we're transferring you downtown like forensics wants to look into your case because anytime a baby comes in with anything that looks like a bruise, I guess forensics starts investigating. So, right, we got transferred, we got admitted, we were there for three days, saw a couple different specialists. Turns out she has petechiae related to viral induced capillary leakage or something. It's not serious, it'll go away on its own. It's kind of rare, but it's not serious. Um, good news, great news. She wasn't even sick. She wasn't injured, she wasn't sick, she was fine, it's just, like being a little baby, sometimes their immune systems can kind of go into overdrive and attack their little blood vessels. Um, but it's not like, it's not an issue. Oh, and I should also say she had a cold about six weeks before this happened. And that's what where the viral thing came from. So right, like she's not sick. She's fine. That's great. But forensics did start investigating us. They asked us a lot of questions. They took a lot of pictures. Out of nowhere, a caseworker from CPS came and interviewed us too. We didn't even know she was coming. And because it just works the way it works, they don't go off of the MDs at the hospital. They have their own doctor that has to review the case. And CPS has like a pending case against us until forensics can make their decision and their recommendation to CPS. During this pending time, we are on supervised visitation with Bobby 24 hours a day, which means that whoever is on our approved supervisor list um, has to be with us all of the time that we're with the baby, day, night, weekend, whatever. Um, which that that's kind of been the biggest like reason I haven't been filming because I'm not always home and if I am home then we have other people here with us 24 hours a day for what's been a month now um and yeah I mean it's just like it's kind of awkward to whip out the camera when someone else is here um and yeah it's been tough we basically are like living on other people's schedules all of the time and i mean 
we've just been on this like up and down roller coaster of like it was supposed to be 14 days 14 days we were going to get another bone scan and if it came back clear we'd be good the 14 days came we got the bone scan and then they were like well we have seven days to like process all this and make our determination unfortunately our like our main contact point at forensics her mom passed away so she's now off our case and someone new's on our case and they're like oh it's not seven days it's 30 days we have 30 days from the day we have all the information to make a decision so here we are a month into this stupid process with no idea how much longer it's going to be because i don't honestly trust their 30 days like they've messed up the timeline or not messed up they've given us different timelines so many times that yeah i can't trust them and i don't that that long story wasn't actually all that short but i mean it's definitely a condensed version of what's been going on i will talk more in detail about it when it's over in the meantime thank you for watching the videos i i hope to be trying to get more out soon it's just hard right now but yeah all right